Yo guys, what's good? Everything well here, back at it with another video. Today we're going to talk about 5 greatest robberies in Ballon d'Or history. Number 5, Diego Maradona. Now wait, Diego Maradona was never eligible for the Ballon d'Or. Because when Maradona was in his peak, 1986, the trophy was only for European players. And while Maradona, after his World Cup performance, was the best player of 1986, he could not win the Ballon d'Or because it was restricted against non-Europeans. And he was certainly the most deserving player for the Ballon d'Or at the time. And for that reason, he brings the list at number 5. Number 4, Gigi Buffon and Andrea Pirlo. We remember the 2006 World Cup where the stacked Italian team defeated France on penalties to win the World Cup. Gigi Buffon, who has been hailed as one of the greatest shot of all time, was one of the heroes and winner of the Golden Hand in that World Cup. Another Italian star in that cup was Andre Pirlo, who scored Italy's first goal of the World Cup and as well as assisted their only goal in the final, and eventually won man the match for the World Cup final. Both of these players were way more deserving of the Ballon d'Or than the eventual winner. Fabio Cannavaro, who was Italy's captain and defender in that World Cup, and is also the most recent defender to win the Ballon d'Or. Number 3. Andres Iniesta In 2010 and 2012, Iniesta was one of the best midfielders and overall one of the best in the world. In 2010, he was a hero of the World Cup with Spain, winning their first ever World Cup and becoming one of the only nations to win a World Cup on a different continent. In 2012, again, he shone with Barcelona and also won the Euro with Spain. Overall, his skill in the midfield was unparalleled and he definitely reserved the Ballon d'Or in either of these years. Before the Messi Ronaldo era, scoring 42 goals and knocking out 26 assists in a calendar year was unheard of. Now they expected of Messi Ronaldo. But in 2003, Thierry Henry did the impossible as an Arsenal player and knocked out the exact numbers. That same year, he won the PFA Player of the Year award. He looked a shoe in for the Ballon d'Or. It's not him, at least AC Milan star Paolo Maldini. Instead, the award went to Juve star Pavel Nedved. But don't get me wrong, Pavel Nedved is a great player in his own right, but he wasn't nearly as incredible and prolific as Henri was in 2003. Honorable mentions. These players were all equally deserving of making this, and they all equally deserved a Ballon d'Or in their own time. It was like Javi Hernandez. Javi Hernandez was an amazing midfielder and one of the best in the world from 2008 to 2012, in which time he won a trophy in each of these five years. He won two Euros, two Champions Leagues, and one World Cup to cap off these amazing five years. He was essential in all of these wins. He was essential in Spain's Euro wins and World Cup win, and he was essential in Barca's 2009 treble win and 2011 Champions League win. He was definitely deserving of the Ballon d'Or and should have definitely gotten it along with Andres Iniesta. Wesley Schneider. Wesley Schneider in 2010 was a beast with Netherlands and he was a beast leading them all the way to the World Cup final starting in the midfield and number 10 role. Deco. Deco in 2004 won four trophies at Porto and was one of the best in the world, eventually moving on to Barcelona. Crowning the top of the list, we have Frank Ribéry. This was an extremely close and tough decision, and it isn't something black and white, so it was extremely hard to decide between Henri and Ribéry. Overall, Ribéry edged out Henri because of what he managed to do in 2013. In 2013, Cristiano Ronaldo was a beast. He scored 66 goals in just 56 games, which is no small feat. However, in the same year, Frank Ribéry won the unprecedented trouble with Bayern Munich and starred in their journey. He set up both goals for Bayern to win the Champions League, scored four goals to send France to the World Cup, and won the Bundesliga and UEFA Player of the Year. He was without doubt the best player on the best team. And sure, he had a great claim to the trophy, but FIFA delayed the voting by two weeks, in which time Ronaldo scored a hat-trick to send Portugal to the World Cup. And after this, Ronaldo won the Ballon d'Or with less than 5% of the vote, serving Ronaldo and Ribéry in third place. 